Arnold here, co-founder of Pat Trading Partners, along with Bob Iaccino. So Tesla reported earnings. We've got a five-minute after-hours chart going on here. You can see spiking up just above our 1705 level, then backing off a bit. If it does continue to rally more, 1735 is the next level. We will go back to the four-hour chart, though. Let me turn off extended information there we go all right so now we can take a look by the way uh they reported a gap eps of 50 cents beating the estimate of an 11 cent loss um, their revenue came in at 6.04 billion down 4.9 percent year over year but the street expected 5.4 billion uh, adjusted net income of 451 million first expected loss of 74 million they did sell 428 million in regulatory credits which was a new record by the way uh, free cash flow was 418 million versus expected cash burn of 617.9 million and accounts receivable at an all new time high some very interesting numbers in the financials, but we're not here to talk about the financials because they just don't really seem to matter to this company. And they can pretty much put out whatever financials they want, and whether people accept them or not doesn't seem to matter. Stock, you know, is, we had it up around, what, 1710, so that's right up here. And going, so we're trading up here at the moment. I turned off the extended hours. You can see if we get through 1735, the next is 1792, then 1851, 1911, 1972, and 2152. Now everybody's talking about does this get them into the S&P 500? It's up to the S&P 500 committee. They don't automatically have to accept uh, Tesla in. So it's up to the committee to meet and decide whether they're going to put Tesla into the S&P 500. Key support tomorrow if it does drop back down because it wasn't, I mean, they beat so that everybody's thinking, you know, S&P 500, but it wasn't that good with all the regulatory credits they had to sell between first and second quarter. They pretty much had to buy their way through regulatory credits to post these profit numbers for the last two quarters. So we shall see what happens, but key support tomorrow, 1571. If we drop below 1556, I'll start watching for about 1500 is the bottom of the four hour rotation zone. Daily chart, let's see, 50. below that, let me just double check this. So we head down about 1500, and on the daily, we're looking at about 1529. So 1500 to 1529 is the major support on any pullback. If we do, continue to rally and hold up and we pull back if we gap up tomorrow and we pull back you can watch for about the 1640 area right in here for the first level of key support if the price action stays up here and then it pulls back after the open tomorrow major support on the daily all the way down at 1363 really nothing else to report we're just gonna have to see where it opens up tomorrow and uh play it from there we'll talk to everyone soon bye for now